Hey everybody, welcome to what to do when you're heartbroken after a breakup. So the challenge I see, right, is often when we're heartbroken, we actually have a hard time taking care of ourselves. I mean, I do this too, right? It's so easy to sit inside the pain and sit inside the sorrow. And part of us really, really, really wants to move on and get over it. And part of us is really stuck in the past. So after this show reel, I'm going to show you some really clear, powerful tips to not only help change your brain wiring, but really to help you come to a place of peace and calm so you can heal your heart and be ready for your next stage in life. <laughs> you can't feel too much. <laughs> so have you ever had a heartbreak? Maybe from a relationship breakup or someone betraying you, something not going right. Maybe you wanted a job and you didn't get it. Maybe you're hoping something would turn out one way and it didn't. Have you ever felt sad? You probably do now. That's why you're watching the video, right? So what tools do you use? So one tool I'd like to share with you is just a really simple breath work. And all I'm going to have you do is place your hands on your heart. And I want you to just breathe and just imagine all of the love that you know is out there from your friends, from your family members perhaps, from those who care about you. Maybe it's, maybe you even have to like bring up an old childhood friend. Like maybe you're like, I can't even, nobody right now cares about me because sometimes we can feel that way, right? Like we're all alone and isolated in the world and that nobody cares. So see if you can think of a friend. Maybe it's your cat, maybe it's a dog, maybe it's your neighbor's dog. Think about a time that you felt loved or someone that makes you feel loved. With your hands over your heart, I want you to just breathe in that image. So breathe in that image of that person, that feeling that you have when you're in that situation, when you're with that animal. Hmm. And just really be present with that. And sometimes it'll feel almost more heartbreaking because we get reminded like, oh my gosh, I don't have that right in the moment. But this is the thing, right? Is you do have that in the moment. I know it might not feel like it, right? But when we're in and stuck in an emotion, it can feel like there's no resources, like there's no way out. But just remember that that love that was there in the past is still there, right? It's still a part of you. It's still a part of your being and who you are and how you integrate in the world. So just pull that in for yourself. Feel love for yourself too, if that's available for you and be present. Number two, I'm going to teach you is something called emotional freedom techniques. And all I want you to do is just tap on the side of your hand. And note right now, what are you feeling? Is it heartbreak? Is it loneliness? Is it desperation? And where do you feel it in your body? Is it in your heart, your lungs, your stomach, your chest, your nose? <laughs> okay. And just notice that. And then just repeat after me. So even though right now I'm feeling heartbroken and I feel it in my chest, I'm open to letting it go. Even though right now I feel heartbroken and I feel it in my chest, I'm open to letting this go. Even though right now I feel heartbroken and I feel it in my chest, I'm open to letting this go. Top of the head, I'm feeling heartbroken. Between the eyes, I'm feeling heartbroken. Side of the eyes, I'm feeling heartbroken in my chest. Yeah, keep breathing. Just allow it to move through under the eyes. I'm feeling heartbroken in my chest. And just stay in the present. Don't think of all the reasons why you're feeling heartbroken. Just be right now with your feelings right now. Under the nose, feeling heartbroken in my chest. Under the mouth, feeling heartbroken in my chest. Under the collarbones, I'm feeling heartbroken in my chest. And under the arm, we can kind of like reach around right to the side of the ribcage. I'm feeling heartbroken in my chest. Now take a breath. See if that's shifted anything for you. And now go back, rewind the video. Whoops, rewind the video. And do that again, repeat it again, using 
how you're feeling right now. So maybe it's changed. Maybe you're still heartbroken. Maybe you're lonely. Maybe you're whatever. But just do it again until that emotion, its intensity is really low or gone. And you can use this tool all the time. Now, I know there's a lot of videos on YouTube that talk about being really, really general, but right now you wanna stay with what is the feeling you feel right now? Don't think about all the things that make you heartbroken because that can be overwhelming, right? If you start thinking about all the times and all the things that happened, all the words that were said, it's too much and it'll get worse and worse and worse and it'll keep getting overwhelming, right? So stay with the present, stay with the right now. That's where this tool has the most power. I mean, Yes, it works with past and present future too, but that's in a different video. So um, I've got other video resources for that for you. But just use that present navigation for now to help you through the heartbreak right now so you can function, so you can move past the job, the, the loss, the pain, whatever it is. And then the third thing to do is I want you to go for a gratitude walk. And if you can't make it outside or you can't walk, Wander around your living room or just sit and count all the things you're grateful for if you can't move. I'm grateful for the sun. I'm grateful that there's not sun. I'm grateful that I have an opportunity to feel pain. I'm grateful for what was. I'm grateful for the potential. I'm grateful for my cat. I'm grateful for my mom. I'm grateful for my dad. I'm grateful for um, that there's chocolate candy bars in my refrigerator at home. I'm grateful for that I have enough money for food, right? Whatever it is. And just navigate all the little things that you're grateful for because that will help start resetting your brain. So hopefully that was helpful for you. I feel for you. Take care of yourself. And until next time, I'm done. Namaste.